today for the Bitcoin, but more importantly, Ethereum price with Big Boy Crypto. We are going to talk about Ethereum because crazy news are hitting the market right now and we are feeling obligated to come out and talk about Ethereum right now because those news are hinting towards the fact that Ethereum can still this year not only make you rich, but potentially also a millionaire. We will be talking about that. And these news, when Big Boy told me about that, I was certainly surprised, I have to tell you. So we want to get straight into it. It is certainly something you do not want to be missing out on. And if you want to be having more of these videos in the future, please sit down, watch this video until the very end, scroll down, smash up the like button. And also in the pinned comment, you will find the channel to BitBoy. So go over, subscribe to his channel. It is an amazing channel about altcoins and many, many more important topics. But without further ado, I want you to come to the most important question of today. Ben from BitBoy Crypto, how are you doing today, my man? Well, it's the beginning of April and it's feeling like things are bullish. We got the Coinbase IPO coming later this month and it just feels like everything's aligning for a great April, which, you know, if people don't know, April traditionally is the very best month of the year for Bitcoin. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And what's good for Bitcoin is at least delayed a little bit, also good for Ethereum and the altcoins. Yeah. Um, talking about Ethereum, well, let, let, let's get into it. Maybe we can elaborate a little bit on these news. And also, um, you can derive from that, what are your expectations for Ethereum this year? And how can people profit from that? And why actually this narrative um, on your channel, and I'm talking about that as well, that Ethereum can make you rich or a millionaire can actually be true much sooner than many people expect. Yeah, and a lot of people don't realize even this year, you know, Ethereum has outperformed Bitcoin. Ethereum consistently in bull markets outperforms Bitcoin. Of course, Bitcoin outperforms Ethereum in bear markets, uh, you know, with where you see Bitcoin drops 85% and the altcoins, including Ethereum, drop much more than that. But in a bull run, when prices are going up, Ethereum always outperforms Bitcoin and has as long as it's existed. So the idea that, you know, Bitcoin is the best way to become a millionaire, I definitely got to buck up against that. It was at one time, but to me, Ethereum is the best way to become and uh, stay a millionaire. So, so what is going on right now in the world of Ethereum? Well, I was scrolling through TikTok yesterday. If you guys don't follow me, make sure you guys follow me at BitBoy Crypto on TikTok. Great we have the channel. largest cryptocurrency uh, TikTok account over there by far. And, um, you know, I get a lot of cryptocurrency content on my For You page there. And so I was scrolling down and I came across a story. A guy was talking about this crazy move on Compound. Now, if you don't know Compound, it's basically a staking and a yield farming platform uh, that's built for decentralized finance on Ethereum. Well, Yesterday, a whale, and by the way, some people are making the accusation and the rumor that this whale is Justin's son. We don't have anything to confirm that, but that's kind of the rumor that's out there. A whale moved $1.3 billion worth of Ethereum over to the compound platform. Now, let me put that in perspective for you. If you can't do the math that quickly, that's 629,000 Ethereum that has moved. And not only is it moved to compound, it will probably stay there, meaning about 629,000 Ethereum has now just went out of the circulating supply. And when you combine that with all the Ethereum that's moving out for validator nodes for E2.0, it's looking like that circulating supply is dropping. Then, of course, we have EIP-1559 launching here in a few months uh, that will make ETH Ethereum uh, deflationary by helping control the supply by burning. And we're just looking at a time where things are getting extremely bullish or Ethereum, of course, hit all time highs over the weekend. And I don't think that's uh, that's set to stop anytime soon. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what we are talking about, what, what is the biggest argument for Bitcoin going to millions of dollars? It's always the scarcity aspect. It's always this, uh, the cap maximum supply. And right now we are seeing all these developers bringing um, not only nice new incentive structures to lock up Ethereum contracting the circulating supply. No, you have ETH 2.0 where you can do staking. Then you have the deflationary aspect and all of that is going into the same narrative. So before you had an infinite inflation for Ethereum, right, which was going on yearly, a specific amount of Ethereum were being mined, that was not so supportive for the price, but still you had the additional use case with a smart contract platform, the DeFi use case, but now you have all of that and you add to this also the scarcity aspect. 
So I think personally, Ethereum is going to be extremely explosive uh, once this finally comes into place and um, we are going through these parabolic cycles. So very, very great point. Uh, I wanted to know from you, how can we quantify that? What are your price targets for Ethereum this year? You mentioned that even this year, it can make you a million. Of course, it always depends on how many Ethereum are you holding. So maybe you can give us like your, your kind of best case scenario, your realistic scenario for Ethereum for this year. Yeah, I, I definitely think that, uh, you know, when it comes to this year, I'm sticking with my price target, which is $27,000 for the end of the year. And basically, let's just say it got to $20,000. That would mean you would need somewhere around maybe 50 Ethereum, something like that to become a millionaire. And I know a lot of people, they don't have 50 Ethereum, but for those that do, I think that's a very realistic number to potentially be a millionaire by the end of this year. I think for other people, I've looked at a number as low as 10 Ethereum. If you have 10 Ethereum, you sell at the top of this market cycle. Let's say it goes up to $20,000, conservative in my opinion. Then there you got $200,000. Now with the price drops in the bear market, uh, let's say the price drops back down to you know about $5,000 or so. Uh, now you're able to rebuy and you've got enough to change your life there, you know, pretty easily. So I think that you really got to time that bear market the right way. And we all believe a bear market is coming. Uh, anyone who's telling you that there's a super cycle and we won't ever see prices drop. Uh, those are the type of people that are going to lead you astray. You'd better be prepared for the price drops in the bear market. And that's, we talk about it a lot. That's the time the real life changing uh, money is made. So uh, one thing to think about when we talk about a $27,000 Ethereum, uh, or let's just say a $20,000 Ethereum uh, right now, uh, as of this moment, the market cap of Ethereum is coming in at $240 billion, right? Um, so if you were to look at Ethereum going up to $20,000, that would mean we would need a market cap of about $2.4 trillion, like just to, to put it uh, into, into numbers here. You look at Bitcoin, and Bitcoin's at $1 trillion. You're saying Ethereum has to be basically one and a half times or uh, two and a half times the current market cap of Bitcoin. And people are going to be like, that's how is that even possible? Well, people have to understand the way these markets work during the Bitcoin cycles, which is most of the action, the parabolic run comes at the very, very, very end. If you look at Cardano, for instance, Cardano went from uh, basically two cents to a dollar 30 in a span of three months. Uh, in 2017 to 2018. Everything is moving at the very end to its highest peak. And another thing for people to think about is let's say the price of Bitcoin were to go up to anywhere between six and $10 trillion in market cap by the end of this year. Um, I think it could get to 10. I think six is a very realistic number um, for the overall Bitcoin market cap by the end of the cycle. And you were to say, okay, well, if you got Bitcoin at six tr trillion, and Ethereum at 2.4 trillion, now you're talking about like crazy, crazy, crazy numbers. But the reality is what people have to think about is that a lot of the trillions of dollars in Bitcoin at the peak of the market are going to flow out of Bitcoin and they're going to flow into other coins, especially Ethereum. So it's not like all of these projects are going to reach their peak at the same time. We saw Bitcoin reach its peak uh, December, I think it was December 17th of 2017. Yeah. And then Ethereum didn't reach its peak and a lot of the altcoins didn't reach its peak until well into January. So you're looking at about a month of different where all the money's flowing out of Bitcoin into these other projects. Uh, so that's definitely something to think. You don't have to like, if Cardano is going to be at $8, if Binance Coin is going to be at, you know, $2,000, Ethereum is going to be at $20,000 and Bitcoin is going to be at $300,000. They're not going to all reach those numbers in the same day. You're going to kind of see a game of hot potato where each, you know, each project, people are pulling profits out and putting them in the next coins. I like the hot potato one. <laughs> when you're having an outcome towards the end of the bull yeah. market, you don't want to hold it for too long. Otherwise, no. you're burning yourself, definitely, man. Very Absolutely. great one, very great one. I know that a lot of people are holding Ethereum, not only in your community, also in my community. So I'm truly grateful for you hopping over here. I know you are really deep diving also into the recent news of Ethereum. So it was really great having you here. Once again, guys, I want to remind you, go down. His channel is down below. Go over, subscribe to the channel, smash up the like button for this video. Uh, we have another collaboration over on his channel where I'm sharing some insane, insane happenings um, in regards to Bitcoin, not only in the immediate short term, but also in the long term to 
Kingdom. So go over to the channel, watch it yourself as well. And yeah, man, thank you so much for joining us today. Do you have any last words to share before we are wrapping it up here for today? Yeah, just tell everybody, enjoy this time while we got it. You know, prices won't always be going up like this. And, uh, you know, every time a price like Bitcoin or Ethereum hits uh, some kind of level of resistance, people are going to say it's a bear market. That's just kind of how it goes. But the fact is, we're in a bull market. We're still going to be for many more months. And it's, you know, heck of a time to be alive here in crypto. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, man. Great ending words. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks so much for watching until the very end. And we will see you the version of the next one of MM Crypto. And as always, guys, as always, bye-bye.